Fairy. And we're so excited that you could join us here in the Praise House today. That's right. Today, we're going to learn more of the Christmas story. As a matter of fact, we're going to learn how the shepherds visited baby Jesus. That's right, Fairy. But first, before we hear more about our story, we need to look for the church mouse praise house mice. That's right, Holly. And so we're going to do that right now. Are you ready, friends? Okay. I'm going to count to three, and then we'll look for those mice. Count to three and look for the mice. That's right, Fairy. Okay. Ready? One, two, three! Look for the mice! That's right. We're dressed like shepherds. I think they get that, Barry. Oh, okay, sorry. Anyway, we are dressed like shepherds because that's the part of the Christmas story you're going to hear from Miss Marta today. That's right. Miss Marta is going to tell you about the time of the story with the shepherds visited baby Jesus. That's right, Barry. Good job. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> anyway, Miss Marta will tell you more about it, and then we'll see you in a little bit. Have fun listening to the Christmas story. Yeah, have fun listening to the Christmas story. I just said that, Barry. I know you said that, Holly, but I said it again. Well, then don't say it again if I said it. Holly, you don't have to say everything. Barry, let's just let Miss Marta tell the Christmas story. Okay. Miss Marta, go ahead. Well, thank you, Holly and Barry. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the part of the story, the Christmas story that we will be learning today. But before we see that part, I wanna go back over what we've learned so far. Now, for the first weekend, we learned that an angel named Gabriel visited a man named Zachariah. Now, Zachariah and his wife were old, and so for them to be able to have a baby was just almost virtually impossible. That means it wasn't going to happen. But Gabriel brought news to Zachariah and told Zachariah that his wife Elizabeth would have a baby. But remember, Zachariah did not believe Gabriel. And because of that, Gabriel said, because you didn't trust God and because you didn't believe, you won't be able to talk until the birth of your baby boy. And so Zachariah was like, <laughs> he couldn't talk. And then baby John was born and Zachariah was able to talk. Well, then that same angel, Gabriel, visited Mary and Joseph. And we learned that last week. He brought Mary good news. He said, Mary, God has chosen you to give birth to his son, Jesus. Well, now at first, Mary was afraid, but the angel said, Mary, don't be afraid. God has chosen you, and that's a good thing. You will give birth to his son, baby Jesus. 
Well, then Mary had to tell Joseph what the angel said, and Joseph at first wasn't sure if Mary was saying the truth or making up a story. He just didn't know. But that night while he was in bed, the angel Gabriel came to visit him too. And he said, Joseph, what Mary said is true. She is going to give birth to God's son. And you and she will be baby Jesus's parents here on earth. And so Joseph decided to go ahead and marry Mary. Now I want you to take a look at today's part of the story. And when it's over, we'll talk just a little bit more about what you saw. Take a look. We need a room. Are you certain? I said no. I'm sorry, but we are completely full. Sir, please. We've been searching all day. My wife is about to have her baby, and we need a place to sleep. You have arrived very late. With this census, every inn is full. Please excuse me. I have to secure my animals. I don't know where I can even find any wood around here to build a fire. Don't worry, Joseph. We'll be warm enough. Uh, you know, I... I have... I may have something for you over here. afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Tonight, your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ, the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddle cloth, lying in a manger. Lying in a manger? Well, that's my favorite part of the Christmas story. The part when baby Jesus is born. Now in that video, we saw that the shepherds were on their way to visit baby Jesus. And once they got there, they were amazed at what they saw. They saw a little baby lying in a manger. And that little baby was baby Jesus, the savior of the world. Now savior means someone who saves. And Jesus was sent to earth by God to be the savior to our entire world, for you and for me, he would save us from sin. And he does save us from sin. Now, after the shepherds visited baby Jesus, they were so excited by what they saw. And they were so excited that the Savior of the world had come and that God had sent the best gift ever to the earth. They wanted to tell everyone the good news. And so the part of the Christmas story after the shepherds see baby Jesus tells us that they went out to everyone they could find. And they said, good news, Jesus is born, Jesus is born. They made sure that 
anyone and everyone heard the good news. Baby Jesus is born. And we can be like the shepherds. We can visit others and tell them that baby Jesus is born. We can tell our moms and our dads and our friends and our family and our neighbors. But you know what? Holly and Barry are going to tell you a little bit more about that right now. Holly, Barry, take it away. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's Christmas story or, well, the part of the Christmas story about when the shepherds visited baby Jesus. That's right, Holly. I love that the shepherds were able to tell everyone the good news about Jesus. That's right, Barry. They told everyone about the good news of Jesus. And you could tell others about the good news of Jesus, too. You could visit your friends, your neighbors, your family, just about anybody. And you could tell them the good news about Jesus. That's right, Barry. Good job. Thanks, Holly. Yeah, you can tell everybody the good news of Jesus. You can say, Jesus is born! 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 Je That's good, Barry. Okay. We are so happy that Jesus is born. We celebrate Jesus' birthday every Christmas. That's right. And we can tell everybody the good news about Jesus, just like the shepherds. That's right. We could tell everybody the good news, just like the shepherds. I said that, Barry. I know you said that, Holly. Then don't say it again. Well, I needed to say it again just so they make sure they get it. Okay. Barry, I think that's enough. All right, Holly. I guess that's enough. Anyway, go ahead and sing this worship song, and we'll see you back here in a few. Bye. Bye.
enjoyed singing those worship songs. I know I did. I did too. Those were fun. Well, before we hand it over to Miss Marta for her to pray, we need to go over our Bible verse and our praise phrase. Barry, do you know our Bible verse? I sure do. I'll go ahead and say it. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born. Great job, Barry. Thanks, Holly. For unto us a child is born. Isaiah 9, 6. I think they should say it by themselves. What do you think? I think you're right. Okay, you go ahead and try it. Isaiah 9, 6. Ready? One, two, three. You did it! Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born. Yay! Okay, now let's do the praise phrase. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus was sent for you and me. Very good, Holly. Thank you, Barry. Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus was sent for you and me. One, two, three. Jesus was sent for you and me. Well, let's see if they can say it by themselves, Barry. Okay. Ready? You go ahead and say it. Ready and go. You did it. You said it. One, two, three. Jesus was sent for you and me. Yay. Yay. You guys are good. Well, let's go ahead and hand it over to Miss Marta, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, thank you, Holly and Barry, for helping us with our praise phrase and our Bible verse. I've had a great time with you here today, and I hope you've had a great time too. And before we go, I would like to pray. So let's bow our heads and let's talk to God. Ready? Dear God, thank you for bringing us together today. Thank you for teaching us the Bible story about Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Help us to remember that we can share the good, good news with everyone. We can tell everyone we meet that baby Jesus is born. Lord, please help us to have a great rest of the day and an awesome week. And we'll see everyone back here together again soon. It's in your name we pray, amen. Well, thanks for joining us, friends. I hope to see you next week. Bye.